the training plans themselves. There is a beginner training split and an intermediate training split. And if you're not sure where you fit, you will be given advice on what they are and how they work. So looking at the beginner one here, you'll see a bunch of symbols down here, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, F2, F3. They refer to whether something is a set by itself or whether it's paired with something. For example, F1, F2, F3 means you're gonna go from one exercise straight into the next, straight into the next, and then rest. Whereas if it's just A1 by itself, you're gonna do a set and then rest, and then do the next set and then rest, and so on and so forth. So that's the first part. The exercise is then the exercise that you'll be expected to perform. Sets are how many sets you're going to be doing. Reps, how many reps you're going to do those sets for. RPE will be explained a bit further, but it's a measure of how hard you found that set to perform and how much you should roughly rest. And again, you'll be given advice on how this works and how strictly you should adhere to it. Notes is to provide any feedback if you need it. Over here, you're going to be recording what you did for that set. So if we used a goblet squat over here, let's say we used a 12 kilo dumbbell and this person did all 12 reps, they pop that down. Let's say on the next set, they only get 11 and they're gonna do between two to four. So let's say they decide to do three on this particular day and they get 10 on that final one. It's gonna add up how much total weight they lift in that whole session. Across each of the workouts, it will add up how much they do for the whole lot combined. And from that, we can start to infer things. What we'd like to see from week one to week two, and then week three and week four, is the total amount that this person lifts down here increasing. Once we go into week three for the beginner, things get a little more progressive. We can see now we've got an A1 and A2, rather than just A1 and then B1. So we're taking them through things that get gradually a little bit more complicated and progress them from where they are. When we get into week five, it will go another step further. And finally, in the last two weeks, the most complex that it will get for them. So they're spending two weeks at each phase before it's progressed to the next one. When we look at the intermediate, they clearly start out at a higher place than the beginner. So there'll be more comparisons with the start point for the intermediate and the end point for the beginner. There will be a little more complexity with their programming, but again, everything will be explained as to what they need to do. And the same structure applies. For the intermediate, they're actually going to spend four weeks progressing the same workouts. And then in week five, things change. They'll be keeping the exact same exercises, but progressing through the sets and reps adding more volume and work to uh, to their training. The reason for this is that an intermediate lifter needs to spend more time progressing the moves that they do as they've already achieved a certain level of uh, competency with those movements. And the change in their musculature system is going to arise from the improvements. If we change stuff too frequently, they don't get a chance to really progress those lifts.